Good evening and welcome. I'm Sheila Balgobin and I am the Dream Detective and I help you to find the gold in the gobbledygook of your dreams so you can live the life you dream of. Tonight I um, want to talk about following the breadcrumbs of our dreams and what I mean by that is, um, is that, hi buddy! <laughs> I, what I mean by that is that we, um, in order to pursue our dream, not only do you need to have focus and dedication and just sheer stick to itiveness, but you also um, need to make sure that you're following the right dream, following your dream. And I talked about that a few weeks ago. And what um, gives validation, if you will, just for you, personally that you're pursuing the right, the right dream is that you get little clues from the universe, what I call breadcrumbs. Um, and I'll give you an example of what I mean of, by that in a moment. But what those breadcrumbs mean is that to encourage you, to tell you, yes, you're on the right path, keep going. Um, even if you can't see the, the, the way forward very clearly or not sure where it's all going to end up but the universe is, is telling you that it's behind you and to keep going. Now, um, in my own experience, I, when I say following breadcrumbs, I look for the, as I mentioned before, the synchronicities and coincidences and the little things that, that come my way that either seem to, to be telling me keep going forward in the way I'm going or maybe I need to stop a minute and think about this. But I'll give you two examples. So the first was nearly three years ago now when I was thinking about finally presenting um, my course on dream interpretation to the world after it had been sitting on a shelf for several years. And I had just come back from my retreat where I had um, really whipped my course into shape to, and got it ready to present. And I was heading off. Hi, Adrienne. I was heading off to um, a meeting, and on the way to the meeting, I was changing trains, and on the, on the platform, or the concourse between train platforms, there was a, a rolling banner of advertisements, and one particular banner came up as I was darting through trying to get to my next train to, to get where I was going, and it said something like, 86 six percent of people believe in the meaning of dreams or something similar to that and if I had had time I would have taken a picture of it just to remind me but what it confirmed to me in that fleeting moment that that my my dream of presenting this course in dream interpretation wasn't so harebrained after all there were people who out there who thought like I did that there was meaning in their dreams so that you know gave, gave me the incentive to keep going, to keep developing, to, to keep um, working on my course to, to be able to present it, which I am doing at this moment um, and having a, a wonderful time with my students as well. But um, as I mentioned in my last couple of lives that I've had to kind of step back and regroup um, in order to to start moving forward again because of a series of circumstances that I couldn't control. Now, what that I could have just gotten disheartened and you know um, abandoned things and said, "Ah, oh, the hell with this! It's too hard," and going back to being brain dead, working for somebody else, not going to happen. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. Um, I've come too far to to go back now, but. On as it happens, I got another little breadcrumb from the universe, um, and it was this week. Um, as it happens, I was listening um, in the kitchen with my husband. We were faffing around getting breakfast, and um, the radio was on. My husband likes to listen to talk radio, sports radio, so the radio was on, and all of a sudden, my ears literally just kind of pricked up because. There were two women on the, on the radio, and what were they talking about? They were talking about dreams. And what do they mean? And why do we have them? And do people 
can people dream or do they remember dreams? I mean, it, it was just a very short conversation, but in that five minute chat, that was the signal to me that you're on the right path, keep going. Even if you can't see the way forward clearly just as, as much as you'd like or just yet. And that's what, exactly what I mean. It's, it can be a, a random con conversation on the radio. It can be somebody makes a chance remark in the street. It can be something you read. It may be a thought that suddenly comes to you, but it just lets you know, you know when it's, it's a message that's telling you to keep going. You just know, you feel it. And that's exactly, I mean, I normally it's, it's usually white noise <laughs> behind me listening to the radio when my husband has it on because I don't particularly listen to talk radio. So for me to all of a sudden to hone in and it was just like dreams, it just almost shouted at me. It was just, it was almost bizarre. But it, as I said, it was my indication, that little breadcrumb from the universe that was telling me, you're on the right track, keep going. It's okay. The universe has your back. <laughs> and I would challenge you to think about that. If there's, there's a, a long held dream or a sudden dream that's come upon you that it's really burning in your heart that you want to see happen, it not only takes dedication and focus and sometimes just rolling up your sleeves and doing some hard work, but is it also your dream? And I talked about this a few weeks ago. Are you chasing the dream that is your dream, that is really what's in your heart, rather than what has been imposed upon you by someone else? So I would challenge you to think about that. And if that, that dream is that burning desire that's in your heart, are you, felt, are you becoming aware um, and making sure that you're on track by following those little breadcrumbs that the universe drops in our, you know, in our path from time to time to let us know that, yes, you're doing the right thing, you're going the right way, um, and keep going. Sometimes the breadcrumbs can tell you, you know, take a hike, take a break. <laughs> Don't do this. Don't go this way right now or just wait. I mean, you know, breadcrumbs can mean all kinds of things, but at least if you're paying attention to them, you will actually save yourself trouble in the long run. You know that feeling you did, so you did something against what you thought was, you know, your gut feeling or better judgment. And afterwards you kick yourself. Ah, damn it. I knew I shouldn't have done such and such. I knew I shouldn't have. I knew, I knew, I knew. So if you knew, why did you why did you go there? Why? Um, I mean, and I've learned that myself. I, I, you know, um, well, I am where I'm, I'm at right now as a result of not following the breadcrumbs and not following my intuition, which is my sock and trade. There you go. So, <laughs> but that's the way it is. We, you know, we make mistakes and like babies, we keep falling down until we finally get it right and stand up and keep walking. So think about that. I challenge you in the days to, uh, you know, the days and weeks to come, if you are truly paying attention to all those little signals and little messages that the universe is sending to you to tell you, yes, go ahead, or not right now, or take a U-turn, girl. <laughs> you're, not, you're not going in the right direction at all. I mean, think about that because it, as I said, it can save you so much aggravation and even heartache in the long run. Thanks so much for listening and watching. I hope you found that useful. And if you did, drop me some love hearts or some wows or some other emojis or leave a comment. I'm always willing to, to read comments and to respond to them. Have a lovely, lovely evening and rest of the week, and I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.